Hey, good afternoon, more Medic One. Today, we're going to be the Chef Medic One. We're going to make what I like to call Kitchen Raid Stew, or soup. Get you a, about a pound of hamburger meat, and you're going to brown it. You're going to set your stoves about medium high. I like to let it sit here and brown on one side, kind of like a big old hamburger. So I like to have my chunks a little, I don't like my hamburger meat all just chopped up fine. Go ahead and let that get cooked on one side and we'll kind of like flip it like a, like I said, a big old hamburger like that right there. Just gonna brown this all up till it's done. Meantime, while that's getting done, let's come in the pantry and see what we can read. Let's see. I got some green beans, some tomatoes, stewed tomatoes. I like to use stewed tomatoes, the whole ones, but all I've got is some diced ones. And I've got some corn. We're gonna put a can of uh, whole kernel in there. And I've got some uh, mixed vegetables we'll put in there and definitely some taters and we're gonna put a can of black beans in it I might even try let's see no I'm not gonna put barbecue beans in this so definitely basically what you want to do is just put a can of each of vegetables that you want to put in it just about got this going good here you can use uh, sausage I love to use uh, venison, but go ahead and I've already dumped in a can of the green beans. I like to use two cans of green beans, but uh, for the rest of the ingredients, you just use one can. So let's go ahead and get this oil drained off of here. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and turn my crock pot on to low. This is the absolute perfect uh, beer camp stew, because uh, like, I said, man, you can get you some, I've even done it with squirrel. <laughs> it's, all you need is some meat in there, buddy, and it's good, I'll tell you what. But uh, deer camp, uh, if you just, when you get up in the morning and you have any coffee, you can get all this dumped in here, and, and by the time you get out of the deer woods, done hunting for the afternoon, come back and it's all ready to go. You can feed probably eight or 10 people but uh, I'm not going to do such a big batch since it's just a seven quart uh, crock pot. Go ahead and get this drained off there and put in the slow cooker here. I'm going to open up a can of corn here. Juice and all. This one's the Fiesta corn. It's got little red chilies in it. I like mine a little bit spicy. Let's do a can of diced corn. I say corn, I meant tomatoes. Pour one can of uh, black beans, juice and all. Pour in one can of whole potatoes, juice and all. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna let them potatoes rest right there on top. We're gonna get a knife, we're gonna cut them in half. Mm, that looks good. All right. We'll take the spoon that we use to make to brown the meat. We'll give this a stir. It's got lots of color, flavor. This is one of my favorite quick, inexpensive soups.
you can put okra in here. Uh, what else can you put in here? Just anything you can imagine as far as a vegetable. It looks like it's going to be real thick. I'm going to add about a can of water. The black beans are were very thick. So I'm going to step right over here, give me some water. It's going to be just about right, right there, buddy. I'm going to go ahead and season it with some Tony Cashries. Be liberal. This is going to be the only salt that I put in this dish. That should be enough to start, and you can put, you can add more later once it starts cooking. And about when it's halfway done, we'll come in here give her a taste to see where the saltiness level is. Put a little cracked ground pepper in there. Go to liberal. flakes in there. I'm going to look and see in a minute and see if I have any red pepper flakes because I love those in here. I'm going to put one big heaping spoonful of uh, store-bought uh, minced garlic oil and all. Well, that's good. Give it a stir. It's so easy just to duplicate or, you know, double this recipe. You could probably put it all in here, but since it's just me, this is plenty. And and this freezes so good. You can put that all your leftovers in a uh, Ziploc bag and suck the air out and put it in the deep freeze, and you can keep it for three, four months or longer. I'm gonna just do, dust a little bit of cayenne pepper in there. That'll be plenty. Put a little bit of smoked paprika for color. Kind of help that water or broth have a little color. I'm going to tie it all in with some red pepper flakes. Just a little sip test. <sighs> Definitely need some more salt. lid on it. We'll set it to high for two hours. Go ahead and get some of this plated up because I'm a little bit hungry. Me 
some crackers and a little bit of hot sauce and we'll be good to go. Little dabba do ya. Let's give it a try here. Beat that with a stick. A little bit of tea to wash it down with. <clears throat> Have any questions? Let me know. Medic 1. Y'all have a good night.